if for this routine it's a great workout in that we're able to use the wall to really strengthen your hip and your leg muscles and uh, having the support of the wall and we're using the mat and also you can use a block if you want to. I love this routine because it really does challenge you to have to recruit into your core to be able to engage and to balance and center your body but also it is a great way of really uh, strengthening your buttock because you're put in, in a position where you have to use your buttock to sustain your, your asana or your pose. And so to do that, you just put your hand on the block. If you want to just use your hand on the ground, you can do that too. It's a half moon pose on your knees. And having your left hand stacked right underneath your left shoulder, you're going to put your right foot on the wall. Now you're going to have to play around with the distance a little bit and finding where you could just gently touch your foot on the wall without um, leaning your whole body on this. You just want to touch the wall with your feet, your balls of your feet, enough where you can be able to tighten into the legs from your heels all the way up into your buttock. The trick with this routine is to watch yourself from bringing your hips back. You want to keep your hips forward. and You want to keep your right hip above your left hip, above your left knee. So put your alignment in, scoop your tummy in and up, and you're touching your right foot on the wall as you feel that muscle engaging all the way up into your hip, squeezing deep into your right buttock. Having your left hand stacked right underneath, you're going to feel the heel of your hand carrying that weight as you drop it down. Inhale, scoop your tummy in and up. Having your blades back in the ankle five, you're going to bring your right hand up and hold this position. If you find that your left knee is, is hurting, just put a towel or a blanket underneath your left knee. You inhale and you squeeze real deep into the left buttock. You can take your right hand and reach it to the opposite side of the room for a good stretch. And look up at your right hand as you breathe in. Good. Exhale. Bring your right hand up. Still staying deep and steady inside of here, allowing your core to be engaged to balance this entire setup. From here, you can go ahead and you can bring your um, right knee in if you want, if you feel that you're stable enough, and bring your right leg back up. You have an option of bringing your right knee to your right elbow or your right hand to your right knee. Whatever feels good, whatever you can manage, but at the same time, allow yourself to keep this stack. Don't let your bottom come back. Keep it forward, and you're going back and forth. Keeping Every time you bring your arm and your leg back out, you squeeze into the back by the sacrum, right where the attachment of that, allowing you help yourself to realign that hip joint. Good, and coming in and out. Different options like that. Really the challenge and toughen up the leg muscles really nice, especially down into the lower glutes and into the upper thigh, really toning up right into the upper part, bringing your right hand up, breathing in. Another option is to bring your right hand behind you and just slide it back and look up. Inhale, keeping your hips forward. With your right arm behind you, you're really able to bring your hip forward and see that your left hip is really stacked above your left knee. Breathe in, keeping this nice and tight. Inhale, right hand up, and exhale, come all the way down. 